because they are abusing the rule of law. They should follow the rule of law. For instance, our own person in the Southeast, Yannande Kano, has been set free of every, whatever it is from the highest court in town. Why is this still being held down? Uh, when, when you abuse the rule of law, there won't be a law. It's a lawless society. And when it's coming from the top, it will affect everywhere. I know at times we are, you have to uh, dilly dial in some things, you know, to play when it comes to leadership. But you do it smartly. That is it. So I still, it still boils down to leadership. Because whatever, you know where I am now, the new governor, governor is doing so well. You can see it. You see dividends of having a good leader. Or like the one that left, that was absolutely clueless. So that's what we have. For instance, our, our president, he, he may have good intentions, but if you check his age and the mental capacity and his plan or what he had in, in his heart before entering, you know, saying, you know, Milokov is my turn, for instance. It's not a matter of being my turn, it's a matter of knowing what to do. The good part is that the government of Enugu State is really working hard. And when you see in your state, what you want is good government. Some things are, when things are going well, so why are we protecting? We are not suffering like that. For the only thing, the first thing that we have to do first is this fuel. The fuel is a major concern. Let them reduce the price. Let them bring it down. If they can bring fuel to, let's say, 350 or 350 or 400, is something. Because every market people that go to market, people that sell tomatoes, pepper, if you ask them, they'll tell you that the transportation of bringing things from the north to the east is quite expensive. So if the if, um, president, um, if our president can see to it and cut down on fuel, that fuel is a major thing. I see nobody is here. Nobody is here to protest. I just feel everybody is okay with what is happening in the country. Or oh, people are just too scared to come out and talk. So I feel Nigerians are not ready for the change. We only cry on social media. Now is the right time for us to protest and nobody's protesting. So I feel nobody is is passing through anything, it's just a mere cry. So let's just say Tinubu government is working perfectly. Enugu people have decided they are not protesting. The youth organizations made it clear they are not protesting. Enugu people want a calm environment. While we engage the federal government for a better Nigeria, we all know the state government has already started doing his work very well. The state governor has started performing very well. So we are happy with the government of the day in the states. And we are expecting a proper engagement with the federal government for a better Nigeria. We don't have any need for protest. People that want to protest are people that have need. In Enugu, we, don't have, we really don't have need for protest. Our governor is doing well. He's satisfying us. He's delivering his political uh, uh, promises, right as he, he promised. So we are happy. We're a happy people in Enugu. So we don't need protest. We have been clamoring for change and what I have been battling in the South is majority refused to listen to us, thinking that it is just South East affairs. But they fail to understand that whatever affects the eyes also affects the nose. Well, well, that is why I say whatever affects the nose affects the eye. It Once the foundation has been destroyed, what will a just man do? If the federal government can sit up to their responsibilities, we now hold state and local government accountable. But once they, they continue doing hanky-panky, the situation will still remain the same.